my name is Matt LaCroix. I'm the marketing manager for Massey Ferguson Hay Equipment. And if you haven't met the best silage cutter balers in the market, let me introduce you to the RB series. Loading mesh into your RB series is really easy. We have a convenient ladder that folds down. You can hop up onto the platform. A storage roll goes here and under the side shield here. We'll show that in a minute. But to load the mesh, all you have to do is flip your mesh over in there. Now let's go up here and see how the mesh system works. So you have your mesh in the holder cradle. You flip it over into its working position. You route your mesh through these bars and you go across this foam roller here. This foam roller may look like you're gonna take it to a kid's pool, but actually it has a very good use. And what it does is spreads the mesh evenly across the entire bell width. Now that we've loaded our mesh, the ladder folds back easily onto your platform. And since safety is always key, remember your tailgate shutoff valve is here. We have it in the lock position now, so it will not open and close before you unlock it. Since we're in this area, we'll talk about the split gearbox here. The split gearbox is original design to us, and what it does is it evenly transfers the power from your PTO to each side of the baler. Therefore, you're equally driven on both sides. The pickup on the RB series is very heavy duty. Let me show you some key features that makes this a really great pickup. So you have a wind guard roller here, helps keep that crop mat compressed as you go in along the windrow. We've got offset teeth on the ends. Now you may ask, why do we have offset teeth? The reason being is we have these augers back here. These augers are gonna move the crop over because the pickup is wider than the bell chamber. So it's gonna move the crop over. So the, these teeth are offset, so it constantly feeds that auger instead of waiting till the next set of teeth comes in. And from this angle, you can see the front of our rotor. These are silage cutter round balers, so that means the rotor is going to spin and pull crop across the knives. Now when we look at service in a little bit, we'll get to see a better view of the knives. So once you've loaded your mesh up front, you need to put some tension on that mesh so it doesn't freewheel. You can use this handle here. And you have two different lobes depending on what size mesh you load into it. Since these balers are four feet wide, you can use a 48 inch or a 52 inch. These balers hold three rolls of mesh, two storage, one being used. Two very unique features of our RB series is protection of your knives when they're engaged. Also, the Hydroflex floor and the drop floor. Our knives are controlled by hydraulics. They're hydraulically controlled up and they're hydraulically protected if you come across an obstruction such as a rock in the field. As you're going through the field, your wind row may not be perfect even all the way across. So you'll have different amounts of crop coming into your pickup. That's why we have the Hydroflex floor. This floor moves up and down as the wind row density changes throughout the field. Now, if you ever do come across an obstruction that cannot fit through there and it gets plugged, don't worry, no need to get out of the cab. From the monitor in the cab, you can automatically lower the floor. What will happen is the knives will disengage themselves, the floor will come down, you re-engage your PTO, the material that is lodged will go into the bell chamber, then you raise the floor back up, re-engage your knives, and away you go. All of us have had to dig hay out of the chamber that's plugged in August and it's super hot. This will keep that from happening. Now I have the tailgate locked out. Always make sure, safety first, you lock out your tailgate before you service your knives or any part of your bell chamber. As you can see here, we have four endless belts for positive traction. Now let's look into the knives. These bellers come standard with 17 knives. You can engage zero knives, eight knives, nine knives, or 17. Now if you want a different combination other than those, you have to come back here and manually remove the knives. Now, if for some reason you want to keep the knives out always, you can get these optional blanks to put in there. Let me show you how the process is done. To remove your knives, slide this back, and there's a holder on the front and back, as you can see. It holds in the front and the rear, and there's a magnet that holds it in, lined up for you. And to put a blank in, it goes in this way. This goes on your front bar. And once you get on that bar, it slides in place. The RB series comes with 17 serrated knives and since these are serrated if you do need to sharpen them you do that from the back side only and i would suggest go ahead and get ordering 17 more knives so you can keep a fresh set with you at all times and there is storage on the side of the baler for that this is the knife locking handle 
Here it is in the lock position. And then we move it to the unlock position to remove the knives. When you look at the back of the baler here, you may see these circles and wonder what those circles are for. When you actually are using these balers in the field, you run the tailgate and float. And the reason we run the tailgate and float is as the bale grows, that tailgate sinks down, as you can see, and it moves down. And that keeps constant tension on the springs on the side. To keep your chains lubricated, we have a reservoir here, a pump down here, and it automatically pumps oil into your lines. We have a combination of brushes and pads on your chains to keep them lubricated and running smoothly. To make sure your mesh is applied effectively, we have a powered mesh roller. So what this does, it powers the mesh into the chamber to get it started quickly and effectively. While we're here, we can also look at our mesh tensioning system. There's a couple of changes you can make in here to make your mesh tighter or looser depending on your needs. To learn more about the RB series of silage cutter balers or the best selling hay equipment in the world, please visit your local Massey Ferguson or Heston dealer or visit MasseyFerguson.us.